What's up, guys? Brian Rick, the host of your show. Not the number two, but TO, like in addition, like also, how are you guys? Updated the channel art yesterday on the YouTube channel. I uh, actually did Fast Electronics and uh, Fast Electronic and Loud. I did that one as well this week. Uh, so check that out. It's got my my big ugly mug in it there, so you guys can check that out. Uh, but it's Friday night. Just got home a little bit ago with my son from school, and I'm cooking dinner tonight. And I was sitting here cooking. I'm thinking, well, let's just talk about what I'm cooking for dinner, and vlog a little bit and talk to you guys. Um, I hadn't talked to you for a couple of days, so wanted to check in with you. Had an awesome episode of Fridays with Fell today. Uh, really good feedback on that. Uh, getting ready for our 50,000 subscriber giveaway, which is going to be an Xbox One and a PS4, or Xbox One or PS4, but it'll probably end up being both by the time it's all said and done. Not sure. Uh, today I'm using the GoPro Hero 4, uh, recording this vlog in 4K, so I'll upload it in 4K for you guys to be some 4K vlogging greatness. Um, and I'm trying the new frame mount out, so first time just trying the frame, uh, seeing what type of audio it records by itself, so that's how we're hearing it uh, but nonetheless we've been playing a lot of Call of Duty uh, this week as well as Battlefield Hardline next week new Call of Duty maps come out on Tuesday uh, Advanced Warfare Ascendant so um, you can see I kind of got my setup here where I have my Elgato HD 60 and then I'll switch it either between there on my Xbox One or between the PS4 uh, rocking that Asus AC2400 this is the most boss wireless router I've ever owned the coolest feature you can turn off the LED lights. So when I'm sitting here in my living room, you turn them back on here, I won't have to have these bright LED lights. I think it's that button. There we go. See, they're all on there. I can turn them off. So if I was just sitting here and I was in the dark, obviously I wouldn't want those all lit up. But yeah, I've been capturing some of that. And my friend Dave just got a PS4, so I'm hoping to get online later with him, play some Call of Duty, not on this console. That is a very sweet advanced warfare console though i love that xbox one and then the white ps4 i love that too that's my babies so my setup's looking pretty fresh looking pretty clean keep my xbox one games over there keep my ps4 games over here and my ps4 controller uh full surround sound system with poke audio speakers that's what my girlfriend she got me all those so i love her and she loves me some magazines I need to read. Uh, just finished watching that last week. Hot Tub Time Machine again for the hundredth million time. Some of my components, I've got my receiver. And this is how I get clean power to my components, monster power. This is basically like a glorified surge protector. Some 3D movies. I got my 3D Blu-ray player, Apple TV, another one of those power centers, Direct TV, some more Blu-rays, 3D puzzle. And, oh, sorry, I thought we were dying there. Uh, 3D puzzle, and then, uh, yeah, center channel, right speaker, and then my surround and back are back there. Some more Dodge cars to go through, a puzzle I need to finish. And then the other speakers, the powered subwoofer, that's unplugged right now, the Apple time capsule. Some of my controllers and remotes, my Beats, and then some other gear down there like headphones and other controllers. I'm a controller, headphone, and cable fanatic. Here's my desk. Kind of chaotic right now. I use the blue when I'm doing some of those gameplay videos. And then I got my Beats Studio Wireless for monitoring because I was doing some stuff. My iPad's there. I was just kind of cleaning up the table, get ready for dinner. Some stuff I got giveaways on, like PlayStation Plus, Xbox Live. Got those on deck. That was a giveaway. My Thunderbolt display, 2014 MacBook Pro. 15.4 inch, it's the retina display, fully maxed out. Uh, an extra lens, JBL Pulse. And then you guys know, you guys seen, I got lights on everything there. Really cool, look very sweet, very clean. Been using this one terabyte hard drive down here. It's like a USB 2.0 uh, cradle for that hard drive, but still it's a one terabyte black. So been using that. Some more cars I need to get through. You guys like the lights. And you can't see them, you just see the glow. So, same with the television here. I can turn on those. So for my setup down there, you can see blue, green, whatever color I want to do, purple, gaming for grandpa. I can put it on green, and then come up top here. And I got full control over here on the TV. So we can do like green, or red, or blue. Blue is really bright. And I can turn down the brightness if I like. Or I can just fade them all to different colors. On their, on their own and speed that up. So let's speed it up here. 
Let's see how quick we can make that. My son's upstairs gaming and streaming. There we go. There's a trippy light effect for you guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys a little, I didn't even realize it was going to turn into like a gaming setup in my desk setup. It's not really a full one. If you guys want to see a full, really good uh, gaming setup and desk setup, let me know in the comments below on this vlog and I will do that for you. And we'll do it all in 4K. So you guys can have a really good quality video with my big ugly head on it. No, I'm just joking. It could be a big ugly head. I don't know. But uh, got the table all cleaned off. I was going through bills, getting ready to file my taxes. I know, kind of late, but what can you do? So tonight for dinner, I'm getting ready to boil water. So I'm going to cook spaghetti. I've got the, uh, I cooked up some meat and then I added sauce. So I'm going to turn that heat down a little bit. So we got some homemade spaghetti sauce there, some peas, and then I uh, got some a garlic toast garlic toast bread so I'll be cooking that need to actually preheat the oven so I'm glad we're actually vlogging because it's like oh, okay now I can preheat the oven here let's see conventional oven preheat 375 or pre little bit preheating to 375 cooking dinner vlogging with you guys see all my cars I'm gonna get some more the fast and the furious 7 from Jada toys the car collection die cast so I know you guys love those my phone just went off I got a text I think it's from Karen, and she's getting ready to come over for dinner. Brayden's upstairs live streaming right now, so if everybody could uh, share that Xbox One surprise video, we're trying to get that to 1 million views. It's over 800,000 right now. It'd be awesome to see that. It's my highest viewed video on my main channel, but like I said, trying to get it over a million views. Uh, she said, okay, let me know when dinner's done. Okay. So we'll be, like I said, making dinner, finishing it up. Spaghetti, this is a, you guys want to see some epic homemade meat sauce in 4K? I know it's probably a little dark in here, but there you go, guys. I'll give it to you up close. I don't want to drop my GoPro in the sauce. Does that look so good? Just some awesome homemade spaghetti sauce. Who's hungry now? I know that I am very hungry. So we're going to be eating and then I think chilling out, uh, watching a movie, I think, not sure. Uh, I was gonna, supposed to get in, like I said, later and play some PS4 with Dave. So shout out to you, my brother. Hope you watch this vlog. Son's gonna live stream. I know, or probably is. He's probably playing CSGO right now or Advanced Warfare. I'm gonna play some more Battlefield Hardline because I've got a ton of multiplayer clips to upload. So if you guys are excited about that, make sure you check out Gaming for Grandpa. Uploaded a couple Gaming for Grandpa clips today. But yeah, I'm gonna finish dinner and then uh, finish cooking dinner. We'll eat, get cleaned up, and then uh, edit this vlog. So it's 4K, it'll take a little bit of time. Not so much for the edit, just the rendering and encoding. And I'm using just the GoPro uh, grenade grip. I'll link it down below. It's just a handheld grip and the frame mounted directly on it. So hopefully the audio is decent with the frame. I did a video on that uh, particular frame, the new frame mount. So I'll link that down below. But what else did I have for you guys? I don't know, it's Friday, but check out that new Fridays with Fell episode, guys. An Xbox One or PS4 giveaway at 50,000 subscribers. We looked at my gaming setup, a little bit of my desk setup, but if you guys want to see like a full, full detailed, awesome, not so rushed tour of exactly what's going on here at my desk or at the gaming setup, even though I really already told you, but it is pretty epic. That's a Samsung 60 inch LED TV, 3D TV, 240 Hertz refresh rate. And you can see not a single cable is exposed. So if some people had asked, how do I did the lights behind my television? I actually built a frame uh, behind the TV with the LED lights. So, you know, when you make a corner, they make 90 degree connectors and I'll link that down below. I'm actually getting ready to do a video on how I put made, basically make your LED lights bend 90 degrees so you can build like rectangles or squares. And then instead of actually sticking your LED lights with the adhesive that comes on them, instead of actually sticking that to something, use like a cable timeout so you stick that and then zip time to there it's a much cleaner effect and i'll show you guys here um on my on my setup here real quick let me brighten this up real quick here so you can see what i did guys see i've got perfect 90 degree angles that i made with connectors up here and instead of sticking the lights physically i use these cable timeouts and i'll link them below with zip ties so it's a perfect frame that's measured exactly the same size and everything's hidden all the cables you can see there's a little hole behind there in the wall that's where all my cables go so and then they all come out down below although that may look like a rat's nest to you guys it's actually quite organized if you've got that many components going on plus what you didn't see back there is the direct tv like the hd dvr 
uh, the networking side of it that connects all the boxes. That's back there, as well as my uh, cable modem. So there's extra connections, tons of stuff plugged in. But in my opinion, it does look pretty sweet, especially when you got it all lit up. You're just sitting back watching a movie. That white LED behind the TV, or the blue is kind of my favorite. Red looks really good, but I like the white. But yeah, a little bit longer vlog for you guys, but some action. Like I said, if you want to see the gaming setup, same thing I did with those 90 degrees back there. I'll show you this one here. I actually pulled that off a little bit with my Thunderbolt cable. So, and because I didn't use the adhesive on the light itself, I can reuse, I can put a new one of these connectors on here. So I've made a basically 90 degree angle. So I just need to tighten that up. It looks like just a little bit. There we go. Well, actually I'll just cut that zip tie off and then pull that back over just a little bit. It's probably once they get kind of warmed up, sometimes they'll, they're not, they don't change in size that much. It looks like I just need to move my connector over there, but that way I don't have a bunch of nasty adhesive stuff behind the desk when I take it off. Pretty sweet setup though. I like it. The glow, let me turn off these lights here is incredible. Let me turn off this glow. Hold on. Or the lights. Pretty good glow under there. I guess we could turn them all off for you guys. Let's see here. There you go. Pretty good glow. I think so. Looks pretty good. But yeah, I think I need to uh, get this spaghetti, the actual noodles. I need to get those boiling. Get the garlic bread in. We're gonna eat. Um, I'll probably cut the, sh the vlog short so I can eat guys, get cleaned up, like I said, edit it and upload it for you guys. But happy Friday to you. Uh, next week april fool's day so my grandma's birthday is on april 1st mine's on april 11th my mom comes in town next wednesday from atlanta i pick her up from the airport in st louis next wednesday so excited we might talk to my mom on a vlog in the challenger so i think i might pick my mom up in the airport at the airport in the challenger so if you want to see full setup like i said let me know uh check out that giveaway or the new fridays with phil episode and also let's try to get that xbox one surprise video to one million views so, but I am the host of your show, guys, Ryan Rigg. Ryan Vlogs 2, not the number two, not like you're going to watch this vlog, but T.O. like an addition, like also, if you did enjoy the vlog and you watched it all the way through, you're awesome. Leave me a comment, Hero 4, lets me know you watched it all the way through. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Hopefully I'll, you'll like the next vlog or you like the one before this one. But uh, you guys have a good night and have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you soon or see you on the interwebs somewhere. Thanks for watching guys. School coming up in June, so just finished paying that. That was about $1,800, so it is an educational expense for my child. So I'll be able to claim that on next year's taxes, but it doesn't do me any good right now. So just, uh, it was an experience that I went on when I was in eighth grade. I went to the Washington DC school trip. Uh, so I was thankful, you know, and blessed my family did that. And when the opportunity came across for my